Hi YouTube, it is Renee and I'm back again. Rarely do I make two videos in one day, but I really wanted to make a video. It is a Monday, July 6th. It's like 11.22 p.m. I'm getting ready for bed. <laughs> and I just felt the need to share this. Thursday, I had a situation where there is a friend of a friend, so it's not somebody close to me, but a friend of a friend is saying negative words to me. He sees me just about, uh, almost every time, you know, I'm not going to say always and the rest of it, but most of the time when he sees me, he makes... I don't want to speak for him, but he says things about my hair. Normally, it's when my hair is in a natural hairstyle, and he'll say things like how I need to comb my hair, how I need to style my hair, how it looks bad, you know, just all kind of things. He's done this many times. I can count how many times, but it's tiring to count them. But I remember just each time he said it, it was negative to me. I felt like it was negative you know how things just don't feel right and so I said to myself <sighs> you know I'm tired of it so on Thursday he said it yet again and when he said it that combined with me having a really long day at work very tiring day when he said something about my hair and how I need to get some hair supplies and all kind of shit like that I went off and I cussed him out and it felt good doing it but it didn't get to the bottom of it because my whole issue is why I need to confront him why do you say this and what do you mean by it sometimes people say mean things to you because they really want to critique you sometimes people um, are just mean sometimes they're just assholes so I don't know why he's saying it and the rest of it I just know that it gets on my nerves I try to be peaceful and I try to let things go you know I don't I don't always confront things and I said to myself you know what he's done this too many times it is time to confront him and to confront him to me is not a negative thing. I looked up the definition of confrontation and it makes it sound negative that it's in an angry way. And to me it's like, no, I'm just going to let him tell me why he says it, what he means, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to start off very calm and nice, but, you know, the truth of the matter is... I've just come to an understanding about a lot of human nature and I don't feel bad about telling somebody exactly what I think and exactly how I feel. I think what you're saying is stupid. It's immature. If you don't like my natural hair, go fuck yourself. You know, to be very honest, go fuck yourself. Because I don't give a fuck. You're a friend of a friend. It's not like you're my friend. We don't know each other like that. But you want to come out the gates talking about my goddamn natural hair the way the hair comes out of my scalp you know it's curly and wavy and it does get frizzy in the fog and shit whatever you know I, I don't know what your deal is but you're gonna stop that shit right about now so I didn't like how I reacted I was kind of disappointed in myself because I cussed him out and I said to myself, you know, I didn't resolve anything by cussing him out. I wish I could have stayed calm, but I had such a horrible day. My nerves were frazzled. Then on top of that, here he is talking about my natural hair. There's nothing wrong with my natural hair. You know what I mean? Why do people think it's okay to comment on your personal grooming? That's the part I think that really pisses me off the most. Why do... Oh, sorry. Why do people think that it's okay to comment on your grooming? Um, I get it that we're all entitled to our opinions, 
but he keeps doing it. So it's like, well, did you get out what you wanted to say about my natural hair? You know, whatever it is that bothers you about it. Because let's end this. How about that? You don't know me like that to keep joking or whatever the fuck you're doing. See, I don't know. So that's wrong of you and the rest of it. So, you know, it just bugged me and it made me start thinking about how, you know, sometimes in life you have to find your voice and you have to confront people. It's not a negative thing. It's just a way of you finding your voice and standing up for yourself and saying, what do you mean by that? And if someone doesn't respond or give you the information you need, it's okay to keep asking. When you say that, what do you mean? Why, why do you say it like that? You know, and just keep asking questions until you figure it out. It could turn out to be anything. I'm not going to speak for him. I don't know what it is. I don't want to make a long video. But when you confront people with how they're talking to you, you feel so much better because you found your voice and you let them know exactly how you feel, exactly how you will and won't tolerate things. You don't have to do it in a mean way because that's not what I want to do. I don't want to engage in war verbal warfare. But if it goes to the left, you know, I, I just got to do that shit. But I'd rather have a conversation to let them know I don't think it's cool. I don't want to go over seven minutes. But anyway, I just wanted to make a video about that, that sometimes in life you do have to find your voice, you do have to confront a problem. There's nothing wrong with that. So I wish everybody peace, and I wish myself a peaceful night's sleep. Good night.